Hello, hello, my lovely people, and welcome back to Addie's World. If you've been here before, thanks for so much for coming back. If you haven't, hi, my name's Aideen. I'm very new here to YouTube, and what I do is a bit of true crime, a bit of beauty, and everything in between, like mystery boxes, clothing hauls, different types of makeup, and true crime. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, maybe wait till the end of the video and think about hitting that subscribe button and also making sure that bell is on for all the upcoming videos I've got coming your way. Okay guys, we have a special one today. I don't know if I told you, but I tried to get the Raw Beauty Christy and the Pure collab a few months ago now at this stage. And I got into this big round Pure that they were saying they had got my order, I had to email them a different part of my address like my postcode they had taken it and had gone a long time and I hadn't heard anything and by the time I had contacted them again they said they had lost it and they had sold the product I was a little bit pissed off I was raging but last week I had two persons in the post and one was a mystery box which if you haven't seen it it's the Jeffree Star one I'll pop it up here make sure you watch the end because you'll see something that's going into a future giveaway but the other one was all taped up that said pure on it and I was like, I can't order anything off them. So when I opened it, look what was inside. Ah, ah, ah. Now, we're gonna try it out today. Without further ado, my friends, let's jump on in. Okay guys, as you saw, and as you heard from the start, it took me a while to get this. I actually thought I wasn't getting this. So they had already refunded me, so I feel kind of bad that they did send it to me. But what you're gonna do, I haven't even opened the box yet because I'm waiting, because I'm so excited to open it with you guys. So you've probably seen it. I know I'm late to the game, but I'm just so excited to have it. And yeah, it's just beautiful packaging. We've all seen it. If you've ever watched her video about this, you'll see what all the different pictures on the front and what they mean to her and why they're there. So it's a really good video actually and it's so interesting to see how she comes up with her concepts for colours and naming stuff and the ideas behind it. It's just really, really special. So there is two sides to this. Let me open it first. I'll get you. You guys can have the first look. You it is a double sided palette with a mirror in the center so there is one kind of fun outgoing side and then there's one neutral side again i don't know which side i'm opening up first oh my god this is a neutral side and look at the size of the mirror like for the size of the palette the mirror is so big and we have amelot it just does my whole heart copper boxes golden ticket moo point b told you and you're not my real dad if anyone has ever known or ever watched your videos you can't tell me because you're not my real dad is what she is known for so that seems to be the neutral side guys and and then if you flip it over again massive mirror this is the more adventurous side i was i might try to do different looks so i might try one different eyes and we have it's flavor town garden state Tribute, Am I Orange, Cafe Disco, Side Effect, Dandelion, Hurtful, and Lumos. Super excited. So what I'm gonna try do is do a natural side and do a colorful side. I hope I can do it justice, but I, I am such a big fan of Christie's and she is a reason why I got into YouTube as well. Between her and Robert, I think just, they're not involved in everything that goes on in the beauty community and it's just solidly there for the makeup for the tips for their genuine opinion and to be able to support someone like christy means 10 times more to me than be able to support to support bigger brands so two videos coming up which i'm super excited about i have never owned any Ma manny mua products so i just bought the new palette with these brushes i didn't get the lipstick because i was just too late for that and i also bought the laura lee nudie 2 and that, they should be coming in the next week or so, so stay tuned for those videos coming up as well. Will I stop yapping and get into this? I think so. So guys, to set me in, I'm gonna start off with the neutral side. At the end, I'll put in the swatches. Now my brushes may look dirty, but they're not. I put them through the color switch, I know. I usually clean them, but I just got really lazy. Don't judge me. God, this is just beautiful. I think I am gonna focus not like me, I'm going to focus on the, 
these four here. These aren't my usual colors. You know I like to stick to brown and neutral, but these just are calling me because this color, it just does. Guys, beautiful. You know, guys, how does it feel to be just that close to me? It's scary, I know. Please don't mind my eyebrows. I spent about 20 minutes trying to get them right before doing this and I was like, nah, -uh, not today, Satan. I've spent the day watching sport and doing nothing else. To start off with, I'm gonna go into my whole heart, which is this one here. And I'm gonna do natural thumb side. Away we go. So I'm just gonna put this down. I've been looking back at my old videos. I think I, I'm doing my eyeshadow wrong for my eye shape. I think I'm just stupid that way. But by the way, guys, I went with the Jeffree Star um, lip thing today. Sign your blood. Do you think it's too dark for me? Do I need a lighter color? Let me know down below. So I've decided to do this quite high up because again, what I was just saying is, I think I'm cutting my eye shape off at a different angle, a wrong angle for what for my hooded eyes. So I'm trying to learn. So I'm gonna go higher up. And that's just a beautiful kind of neutral transition color. And I do have my P. Louise base down, so it's probably it's not coming showing up as much as I would like it. Just taking the LE team from Laura Lee. I'm gonna go in to it just does. I'll just put that slightly lower, but still blend it up a good bit. Whoa. Look how soft that is, guys. Beautiful. Like it's more of a peachy tone, but it is quite a vibrant pink when I put it on. Then we're going into the shade Nude Point. I do have to be a little bit careful. I know I say I always like to get a bit messy, but my makeup is done. I'm still trying to bring it out and bring it up higher though. I don't know if I'm achieving that, but I want to make my eyes look droopy anymore, which I feel like I have been doing. You know, what I'm gonna do is actually go to Go with a smaller brush and pack all those colors in just to make it more stand out and more vibrant. I actually like love that color, it just does, so I'm just packing it all over my eye. The, the yellow of Camelot and I'm barely going to just buff around completely all the edges with that. I know it's unusual colors to put together, but I actually love it. So I've concentrated, it just does mainly in the center. And what I've done is I've gone for the mood point and then Camelot further out just to blend it. Unusual colors to put together, I know, I know, don't come for me. 
Now guys, the best part of this is I, if I want to darken up this eye, I can actually just flip over to the other side. And <clears throat> to give it a bit more definition, I want to try that purple. So, I'm a bit scared, but we're going to do it. We are going to do it. And that's called tribute. I'm always afraid when I try to use too many colours, it just looks stupid because I'm not very good at telling this colour story or what colours go together, so I hope it doesn't look stupid. Hey guys, there is the gold ticker which seems to be the shimmer. There seems to be one shimmer in both sides which will complement all the colors that are in that side so golden ticket is the this one here so i'm just going to pop that on the inside of my eye and just like that boom so what we're going to do then is we're going to switch to the other side and i'm going to go with man color okay i'm going down this side i'm staying away from blues and purples i'm going to go these three to here i'm just going to have fun i am going to go with i am orange for my transition yes you heard that right if you've ever watched her videos you'll know like everyone Trying to get that white balance on your camera is pretty shit. Do you know what I'm gonna do? Sorry, I had to take that off. It was just really throwing me off doing different colors, so. Now under that I'm going to go with down the line which is a beautiful yellow colour. See can we get this sunset going. as far out of my comfort zone as I'm going at the moment. I just think it blended out beautifully and I'm gonna come back to you guys when I have my mascara and my eyeliner and everything on, okay? So, but I just used both sides. This is the more radical side and then this is the more neutral side. But I think it's beautiful. I never really would go for these colors, but I think it worked out quite well. And we are back with the finished look, guys. I just kind of ran a few colors underneath my eyes. The same story of what I have, just lined them and a bit of mascara. And I had to change my lipstick, I'm sorry, the red was just throwing me off. So what do we think? Even did something nice with my hair? Well, no really, it just needs a wash and I used hairspray. But this is a finished look. Um, my final thoughts for the Christy, Rob Beauty Christy and Pure Palette. It's beautiful. I know it was only a limited edition, so if people don't have it, they don't have it. But it is, I'm so excited and I'm so happy I got this. Purely because I'd never used pure eyeshadows anyway before. Now they are a bit dusty, I will give it that. Not just in a bad way, as in there's a lot of cake back off them. Or fallout or whatever you call it. There is a lot and it does come out of the pan. I probably should have done my eyes first, then my makeup. But I will know in the future, this is just a try on for you guys. 
So there is a bit of a fallout on it, but that doesn't bother me. The shadows are beautiful. They're so soft. They perform beautifully. They blend amazingly together. Yes, there's a neutral side and a matte side, but you can use, obviously, do what I did neutral and throw a bit of matte on top of it and there's a big mirror on both sides so just absolutely amazing i really really like it that's it anyway guys if you've lasted this far in the video thank you so much for sticking with me i hope you enjoyed the review and the look i came up with if you guys have the palette yourself what kind of looks are you coming up with or were you interested in getting this or did you even know about it i'm gonna stop blabbering um stay calm stay cool stay collected guys and i'll see you in the next one bye